You clicked on this video because it promised to help you break free from average style. And the good news is I've got the keys to do so. And I know these keys work because I've been where you are and used them to end my three years of style agony. So I'm gonna let you into these keys because I know you'll continue to painfully struggle without them. Now for the first key, we have to go back to when I first got into style. And I remember sitting on my phone, being absolutely overwhelmed by all the information. But what if I told you that most style advice could actually be making your style worse? Well, to understand why, you have to think like a builder. Take this Jenga tower. What happens if I do this? If I take away the foundations, the whole thing falls down. And the same is true for your style. It's only as strong as its foundations. But most guys neglect the style foundations and focus on advanced stuff. And this is like building your house on sand. So if you want to build your house on concrete, you need to make sure you master the foundations of style, which I call the core four. Fit, function, portion, and color. Can't really open my uh, four fingers, but we'll go with five. <laughs> These core four are all you need and must be right to look good. And if you have average style problems, it's likely that one of these is the issue. Now, I've talked about having strong foundations, but how can you make your foundations even stronger? Well, actual building foundations often have metal rods pass through them to do just this. And there's an equivalent for style, which is key number two. To understand this, take these two photos. Which do you think looks better? Most of you would probably say the one on the right, but why? I'll give you a clue. After taking that photo, I realized that all your clothes are doing are just hanging on your body. You probably guessed right by now. In that photo, I've put on about 15 pounds more muscle. The truth is you can only look as good as your frame. If your foundation is naturally stronger, then your end result will be too. And this end result can be spectacular because before my style potential was capped at maybe a 6.5 out of 10. But after, because of a more aesthetic foundation, my style potential raised to at least an eight. And what's more, you'll start seeing movement even within a month or two of weight training. But even if you fortify your foundations, that means nothing if you don't execute your core four properly. You see, while I was putting on muscle, I was still struggling to get good clothing fit. But there's an obvious solution to most fit problems. And for this obvious solution, we have to go back to a nervous day in early 2023. Now, I remember this day being particularly cold and after spending some time in the welcoming warmth of the shop, I was told that my order would be ready in a few weeks. I was a little bit unsure of what I just bought and kept replaying the session in my head, but I came back and realized that the world of clothing had changed forever because I had just had a pair of custom pants made for me for £129, a small price to pay to fix my burning problem. No pants having enough room for my tree trunk thighs. Just check out how good these look. I can't get these from a shop. So if you've got a specific fit problem that you just can't shake, try a local custom program. It will change the game. Now, what I've mentioned this far is super powerful but it's not the full picture because this next key came from a chance encounter I had one evening on my computer that changed everything. And no, it wasn't single babes in my area. Take a listen to this. You know, I think the, the most iconic people in the world are when you think about, you know, what someone looks like, you think about icons, I mean, for example, right. they don't usually change their style. The most iconic people in the world don't usually change their style. These words from the style master Tom Ford summarize the most powerful style secret that's hidden in plain sight. Consistency is the gold standard of style. Think Harvey Specter and his wide lapel suits, or Ryan Gosling in Drive and his scorpion jacket. They have a uniform, an iconic look, and this creates a powerful, memorable identity. People often say to me, I've seen you around. You're the glasses guy. Well, let me tell you, this is by 
design. And it doesn't just create a memorable identity. More importantly to your average style, it also makes dressing well easy and builds practice and style mastery into your day-to-day -day routine. But you might be thinking, Luke, I don't want to wear the exact same thing every day. Well, it doesn't have to be. Take my winter uniform. It consists of a double-breasted overcoat, a turtleneck, and some sort of trousers. It's vague, but still specific enough to gain the benefits of consistency. And speaking of consistency, do you want to hear the smoothest transition ever? Well, the more consistently this channel grows, the better we can achieve our mission of helping you reach your style potential. So if you've got any value thus far, consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell. Now we've spoken about the key of consistent style, but even I admit I'd heard that idea many times before I actually took action. And it took this long because I believed that you needed a diverse wardrobe and to wear a different outfit every day to have great style. And you might still think the same. But where do we get this? This idea from social media the place where people are given tons of clothes for free and are paid to show them off the next key is to relieve yourself from this pressure of breadth it's unrealistic and unhelpful by trying to do everything you often do nothing you will only get the style that you want by mastering a consistent look those are the five keys and i hope they helped